I was listening to G. Gordon Liddy's uh, radio program this morning at 10 o'clock, and I uh, heard our own State Senator Randy Brogdon on the G. Gordon Liddy show. And uh, obviously, he had, a, he had a great interview as usual, answered the questions about the uh, tax issue and such, but then he teased a little bit and said there's something special coming. Uh, I believe he said this coming Saturday, but we'll let him uh, do that. I want to introduce to you a very important person in the state of Oklahoma where there is a momentum uh, of conservative uh, of action going on in this state. Uh, unlike a lot of other states, we're about 180 degrees from many of the other states. And I don't know about you, but I am glad that I am in Oklahoma these days. So please welcome somebody who really needs very little introduction, State Senator Randy Brogdon. Hello fellow patriots, how are you doing? You know, I, I hate to, uh, to state the obvious, but we are in trouble in America today. Our freedom is at risk because of Washington politicians. I truly believe that we are standing at the doorstep of destiny. And we are either going to write history or we may become nothing more than a footnote in history as a people, a free people that once was. Well, folks, I choose to remain free. How about you? Look, the Obama Congressional, Brad Henry, stimulus scheme does not work in the state of Oklahoma. Yeah, you may wonder, is there anything we can do about it? Well, I can tell you what, for the last four or five weeks, I've been urging Governor Henry to send the stimulus money back. He's refused to do that. So I came up with another idea. Send him. I'm going to send the $2.6 billion back to you. It's your money. And I've got a Brogdon rebate plan. And it's based on the sales tax and the income tax collections in this state. And dollar for dollar, if Governor Brad Henry continues to stand in the line of greed to accept this money, to spread it around the bureaucratic agencies at the, few, at the expense and the risk of, of destroying our kids' economic future, I am going to write legislation, dollar for dollar, every bit of it will be returned right back in the pockets of the taxpayers here in Oklahoma. That is true stimulus. You know, I attended a a Tea Party rally at, at the state capitol today, and I was very hesitant to even take the invitation that I was offered to speak t tonight. And the reason why, we had about somewhere between estimates of four to 7,000 people on the steps of the state capitol. People just like you, people just like me, concerned about our future. They didn't have one single politician speaking in Oklahoma City today. And it was refreshing. It was we the people that were there. I was down, I was down the steps with the people. And I was very hesitant to even stand up here and be with you uh, to address you tonight. But I accepted the invitation from Jay because I gotta tell you something, folks. I am one of you. I'm just like you. I get up, I go to work. I have a family, I have a wife, I have kids, and I'm concerned about what the Washington insiders are doing to our country. Yes. I'm yes. concerned of what they are doing to our state. And I gotta tell you, I can't get my arms around. I don't understand their thought process of how they are choosing, how Governor Henry is choosing to destroy the economic future of this generation right here. Yes. I don't get it. But I tell you what I do get. I get what you are telling me today. I understand that enough 
is enough. Now, here's the problem. Here's the problem. The politicians have been around a long time. And they're watching TV tonight. They're going to see all the tea parties around the country. But you know what? They know that you're going to leave this park tonight. They know that they left the uh, La Fortune Park. The politicians know that the, uh, the people have already left the steps of the state capitol. And they don't really expect you to do anything else. Right. Because that's been the history. Yeah. Folks, this is our country. This is our future. This is our freedom that we are dealing with. And I'm going to challenge you to do two things. When you leave here tonight, don't you dare let up. You let the energy that has brought you here tonight to build, to grow, and to take action. And here's your action. Two things. Number one, I'm going to invite you, if you truly believe in the cause of freedom, I want to invite you to help me protect it. Go to my website and join my team and contribute to the cause of freedom. Number two, this week, every single one of you call the governor's office and demand that he return the stimulus money back. If that doesn't happen, you support the Brogdon Rebate Program, all right? Thank you, and God bless you for being here.